Hi, I'm Bonnie Putney, Headwaters Outreach Manager for Upper Chattahoochee Riverkeeper and the manager of the Rain Barrel Program. This successful program gives water groups an easy way to reach and teach people about water conservation, stormwater runoff, water-wise gardening, and other environmental issues like drought and water scarcity. Using the FlexFit Diverter Kit for barrel conversion is the easiest way to take a plastic 60-gallon Coca-Cola syrup container and convert it into a rain barrel. The kit contains everything you need. This video is designed to show you how the conversion is done and how to install a rain barrel on a house gutter. If you are using a white Coca-Cola syrup container, we suggest you paint the drums prior to installation. This will impede algae growth in your rain barrel from the debris on your roof. The gutter attachment in the kit is designed for square metal house gutters. The rain barrel will be attached to the side of the gutter. When installing a rain barrel, the most important first step is once you have determined which gutter you'll be using is making sure you have a level safe placement of your rain barrel. You'll need to make sure you have the barrel up off the ground. The barrel needs gravity to give you water pressure, so placing the drum on cement blocks, cinder blocks, or other base material is recommended. The drum will be extremely heavy when filled with water, around 500 pounds, so you want to make sure the base will support the drum and not cause a fallover hazard. I drill the spigots for my class participants. It is important to make sure the spigot is tight and secure. I use a 1 1 quarter Forrester bit for this purpose. It gives my spigot holes a nice tight fit with the spigot fitting. I do not screw in the faucet. I leave this for the student at home. You do not want to stress the spigot during transport. Once you have a stable raised base, you want to drill the hole that will deliver the water from the gutter to the drum. This is done with the middle or one and a half inch drill bit included in your kit. Drill the hole close to the top of the drum to get maximum water storage. Place the rubber fitting in this hole. It may be tight and require you push the fitting in with a flathead screwdriver. Once you have drilled the hole, you need to set the barrel on the stand and measure a straight line between the delivery hole and the gutter. You can use a level, but in this demonstration I am using my flathead screwdriver. The point is to have the flexible delivery hose straight and level from the side of the gutter to your rain barrel. The diverter needs to be level so that the water will back into the drum when it is full. This stops the rain barrel from overflowing and no overflow hole is needed. Mark the level point on your gutter so you know where to drill. Always wear safety gear when drilling into metal, including gloves and glasses. The last largest drill bit is for the diverter hole in the downspout. Drill into the gutter at the side of your level mark. You might need someone to hold your gutter while you drill. Remove the metal piece and inset the diverter by gently squeezing the flexible rubber. It is a great idea to put a pantyhose footie over your diverter prior to installation. This will keep the large debris from getting into your rain barrel. The diverter should be flat in the gutter with the cupped area facing up to collect the water. If you want to stop collecting water in the winter months, you can stop collection by turning your diverter upside down. Take your hose and get the correct size needed to bridge your rain barrel and the diverter gutter. You can easily cut the hose at the cuffed area. Bridge the drum and diverter by snugly inserting the hose into the diverter and into the drum fitting. Okay. Now all we need to do is get a good rainstorm and this rain barrel will fill up.